Hello students, here's another problem we can attack with order of operations. Let's say I've got 9 times, parentheses, 7 times 5 minus 7 to the power of 2, parentheses, plus 9. First thing you want to do is make sure you get the correct order of operations. So let's start with the G for grouping, E for exponents, M for multiplicative, a for additive. Gee, Ma, if you write it down each time, you're going to have the steps to solve them correctly, starting with grouping. Now, inside the grouping here, I've got multiplying, 7 times 5. I've got subtraction, and I have exponents. We have to follow this same order of operations inside the grouping. So we're going to start with the exponents. 7 to the power of 2 means 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49. So in the parentheses, we now have 7 times 5 minus 49. We also still have the 9 times in the front and the plus 9 in the back. Our next step inside the parentheses will be multiplicative. So let's do 7 times 5. Since 7 times 5 is 35, we're going to replace that with 35. Then we've got a minus 49, still in the grouping. I'm going to go ahead and write my 9 times in the front and my plus 9 in the back. I think I am losing my voice. My husband will be so happy. Okay, still inside the grouping, we've got 35 minus 49. If I have 35 and I take away 49, I'm not going to have enough. Don't forget our strategy when subtracting. We can LCO, which is leave it, change it, opposite. So that means I've got 35 positives, and I'm going to add 49 negatives. Our rules with zero pairs is that these 35 positives will cancel out 35 of the negatives, leaving me with some negatives left over. Well, let me find out how many. If I take 49 minus 35... 9 minus 5 is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1. That leaves me with 14 negatives. Okay, now in the front, I still have my 9 times. Inside the grouping is negative 14, and then on the end, I have a plus 9. Okay, we're doing a great job. Let's keep going. Almost done. We've done all the grouping. Are there any exponents we missed? I don't see any, so I think we're good. Now we're at multiplicative. So as I go from left to right, I see we have 9 times negative 14. Okay, what is a positive times a negative? I hope you said a negative because then you'd be right. Now I just have to do 9 times 14. So I'm going to use my 14 I have over here and times it by 9. 9 times 4, that gives me 36. Carry the 3. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 3, 10, 11, 12. So now I have negative 126. Don't forget to write the plus 9. Okay, it looks like we have, once again, battle of the positives and the negatives. These nine positives, by the way, we're at the end addition. These nine positives will cancel out nine of the negatives. So I'm going to have negatives left over. To find out how many negatives, let's go ahead and subtract 126 minus 9. Borrow from the 2, 16 minus 9 is 7, giving me 117 negatives as our final answer. I hope this video helps you with order of operations, and good luck.